Welcome, seekers of the unknown, to an exploration of the mystical world of Enochian magic. This ancient practice, shrouded in enigma, has long captivated those on a quest for the metaphysical. Today, we will delve deep into its history, rituals, and the concerns raised by the uninitiated about its supposed dangers. Enochian magic is named after the biblical figure Enoch, whom religious texts credit as one of the only two individuals to leave earth while still alive. Legend has it that Enoch was granted divine knowledge about the universe's workings, which mainly centered around a unique language. This language, often referred to as the angelic language, is the cornerstone of Enochian magic. Enochian magic is rooted in the diaries of two 16th century occultists, John Dee and Edward Kelly. It was during their legendary seances that the enigmatic language was said to be received. Dee was an eminent advisor to Queen Elizabeth I but he was also a noted astrologer and occult philosopher. His companion, Kelly, was a self-proclaimed medium. Their diaries transcribed the Enochian language, along with complex systems of magic and symbology. Now, let's turn to the core of the Enochian system, the language itself. It is believed to be a complex, syntax-driven language that allows practitioners to communicate directly with angelic beings. Skeptics argue it could just be an elaborate product of Dee and Kelly's subconscious minds, but for believers, it's a direct line to the celestial. Enochian magic rituals often invocate the Enochian language's power, employing a system of calls or keys. These keys open up angelic realms or ethers through verbal recitation in predetermined sequences. Each ether is associated with an aspect of spiritual awakening or divine wisdom. Practitioners report vivid visions and heightened perceptions during these rituals, attributing these experiences to encounters with heavenly beings. The most famous Enochian ritual tool is the Sigillum Dei Imeth, or the Seal of God's Truth. It's a complex wax disc, densely covered in symbols, a powerful talisman in Enochian magic workings. The Enochian watchtowers, comprised of tablets representing the elements of earth, water, air, and fire, also play a crucial role in these rituals. Enochian magic daunts many because of the dangerous reputation it's garnered over centuries. Some warn that its potent forces, if mishandled, could lead to disaster. Edward Kelly himself warned of the impending apocalypse if the system were misused. However, it's important to remember that, like any spiritual practice, Enochian magic is not intrinsically dangerous but it does require a certain level of respect and understanding before engagement. This exploration of Enochian magic is just touching the surface of this rich, mystical world. Its mysteries allured many, from the famed occultist Aleister Crowley to the modern practitioners seeking to uncover the divine wisdom that it promises. Despite the centuries that have passed, the mysteries of the Enochian scripts continue to fascinate us. Whether the Enochian language was truly divinely inspired or simply an elaborate construct of two 16th century mages, the draw and power of the angelic language continues to fascinate, challenge, and inspire. It is a testament to humanity's eternal quest for the spiritual and the divine. That concludes our mystical voyage into the intricate world of Enochian magic. Remember, the paths of wisdom and knowledge lead to many fascinating areas of study, and Enochian magic is just one of them. Always treat these paths with the respect they deserve. And may your journey into the realm of the unknown be an enlightening and enriching experience. Till we meet again, fare thee well.